Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you had a great weekend. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. If you haven't already downloaded the Tip Ranks mobile app, then what are you waiting for? You can follow the links in the description down below to get the app on your Apple or Android device and access your favorite research tools on the go. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.98%, S&P 500 futures up 1.18%, while Nasdaq futures are up 1.40%. A jury in New York has convicted Trevor Milton, the founder and former chairman and CEO of Nikola, of securities fraud. Milton was found guilty of three out of four counts of fraud relating to misleading statements that he made to boost Nikola's stock price and thus his holdings. They convicted him of one count of securities fraud and two counts of wire fraud. Milton had founded Nikola in 2015 and took it public via a SPAC in 2020. He repeatedly lied about the development of the company's trucks and technology to build up the price of their stock. For a brief period, Nikola's market value crossed that of Ford's without even generating any revenue. Milton will be sentenced in January of 2023. Shares of Splunk have jumped up in the pre-market after reports that activist investor Starboard Value has taken a stake in the company. Starboard stake is just under 5% and apparently they plan to push the software maker to take action to help boost their stock price. Starboard's CEO is said to be appearing at an activist investing conference later this week and is expected to detail the fund's thesis then. Analysts currently rate the Splunk stock a moderate buy with an average upset of over 81%. Broadcom is likely to make an antitrust appeal to the EU in regards to their $61 billion buyout of VMware. The deal, which was announced in May of this year, will help Broadcom expand in the enterprise software market. They're likely to justify their case by arguing that the deal stands to strengthen competition in the cloud market with the legs of Amazon, Microsoft, and Google rather than weaken it. Analysts currently rate the Broadcom stock a strong buy with an average upside of nearly 58%. And it seems Goldman Sachs plans to reorganize again as they look to merge their businesses into three divisions. Goldman Sachs, who is set to report their Q3 earnings this week on October 18th, will have their investment banking and trading businesses in one unit, while they're merging their asset and wealth management into another. A third division will consist of transaction banking, their portfolio of financial technology platforms, and their specialty lender GreenSky, along with their ventures with Apple and GM. Analysts currently rate the Goldman stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 30%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. The earnings calendar is starting to pick up this week. Tomorrow on Tuesday, we'll be hearing from Netflix, Lockheed Martin, Johnson & Johnson, and Goldman Sachs. On Wednesday, we'll be hearing from Tesla, IBM, Procter & Gamble, and United Airlines. Thursday includes big names like Blackstone, American Airlines, AT&T, and Snap. And to end the week on Friday, we'll hear from American Express, Verizon, and Schlumberger. In the pre-market for Monday morning, we've already heard from Bank of America, who did beat analyst expectations on both earnings and revenue. Their Q3 earnings per share came in at 81 cents, 3 cents ahead of the analyst expectations. Revenue came in at 24.5 billion, which was up 8% year over year and beat expectations by 1.04 billion. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 29%. Also beating analyst expectations this morning was the Bank of New York Mellon. Their Q3 earnings per share came in at $1.21, beating expectations by $0.13. Cents. Revenue came in at $4.28 billion, up nearly 6% year-over-year and $80 million ahead of analyst expectations. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 26.5%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. 
our biggest gainers this morning are led by Arkea Energy. Their stock is soaring after it was announced they'd be purchased by BP for $26 per share for a total enterprise value of over $4 billion. Trading under the ticker LFG, the Arkea Energy stock is currently up over 53%. They're followed by Splunk under the ticker SPLK, currently up over 10%, and Continental Resources under CLR, up over 8%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Alliant Energy, though I wasn't able to see any distinct news behind the decline. Trading under the ticker LNT, their stock is down about 6%. They're followed by Fox under the ticker FOXA, down 5.55%, and Lineheart Acquisition 2 under MSPR, down just over 5%. So that is going to be everything for Monday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Say good morning in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great Monday and I'll see you back here next time.